I'm, I'm back. Yeah. So, anyways, here's the you know who plague. Uh, and, Uh, the Jack Doherty plague. I regret doing this. But it needs to be said. Oh, he crashed his Lamborghini. Oh, what? Like... Like... This is just hysteric. Uh, I'm speechless. I really am. He's just making videos to... I'm just... Look, Jack, no one's actually afraid of you. Alright, I'll see it during the daytime. Right there. I'm sorry if the audio is quiet. But I'm just gonna talk this out. Anyways. Yeah. Jack, no one's afraid of you because they think you're this cool little guy and they're going to say like, ooh, let's, I don't want to mess with Jack or I won't be part of the cool club. No. Oh, God, that was awful. I apologize. No, nobody's afraid of you because they're scared of you. In fact, nobody's afraid of you at all, actually. <laughs> I can't take Jack seriously. I... I really can't. I mean, I'm not trying to be a bully. I'm just stating the obvious, alright? Sorry if it hurts your feelings, Jack, but... The more you continue to be a douche, the more people are just gonna laugh at you. I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm just, this video is going to be short, okay, because I, don't, I really feel tired right now. But, Jack, I, I hope you learned from this whole lawsuit thing that That you shouldn't be a jerk or else that's what's going to happen. People are going to do horrible things. That's just how life works. It's just... It's just the, the circle that keeps spinning. You know? If you do douchey things, then... Respect douchey... Then, respect. <laughs> Expect douchey things in return. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm a bit loud. That's just how I am. But, Jack, no one fears you, okay? They pity you. They actually do. They laugh at you. All right? Wherever Jack is now, then I hope he's doing well for himself.
because it's people like him that give the internet the give the internet like a bad name all right and just just using a disability as as an excuse is just probably what You can't just use a disability as a means to get out of your real world problems. I've learned that the hard way. I, in, in the real world, you're responsible for your own actions when you get to a certain age. You gotta see, there's a line that you gotta put yourself in between. Like, you gotta see, oh, is, hmm, is, is this okay to do? Or is this, or should I just rethink my decision? Because, If you make the wrong choices in life, then people aren't gonna be trust but aren't gonna trust you. Like I could I could say I could like, no one's just gonna, when you get to a certain age, no one's just gonna buy the disability excuse anymore. Because you get to a certain age, you kind of know better. And to fuck with that, nah, just kidding. People are just gonna expect more of you. Like, people aren't. You can't just use the disability card to get out of everything you do. I mean, some things, yeah, but... But you gotta differentiate between those things and... And just using it as an excuse to get out of whatever situation you want. Because... I don't know. It's you can use disability to get yourself out of some situations, but at at any age, but you can't use it to get out of most of the things in life that you're expected to do. You can't use it to get out of going to school. You can't use it to get out of going to work. You, like, what if you say to your boss, like, oh, I have a disability. I can't come today. Boss is going to be like, oh, come, come over, come over or you're fired. Like, it's just reality. I mean, don't wink to reality. All right, you can... You can use all the excuses in the dictionary, in the excuse dictionary. Let's just pretend that's a thing. It's still not going to make a difference. You can't get out of most of your world world. <laughs> real world problems all right you can't use medical excuse to get out of the problems that's not how life works all right in life if you live on this earth 
you have responsibilities. That's what God gave you. God... God says everyone has responsibilities. Well, I don't know if he actually said that, but still, we were put on this, the Bible says we were put on this earth to serve God. Now, I'm not trying to offend anyone with a religion or who believes or who doesn't believe in God. If you don't believe in God, fine by me. If you believe in God, again, fine by me. I mean, you can't can't use disability as a means to get out of paying your taxes. Can you now? No, if you live on this earth, you have debts to pay. I'm not trying to be the boss of anyone or anything, but you really can't make friends by going around being a douche. All right? If everyone hates you, that's probably your fault. You probably did something to make them hate you. Right? No one's just going to hate you for no reason. I mean, not usually. But everyone has, has a reason to hate someone. Or something. All right? Jack. If you're watching this, which I highly doubt you are, you, um, responsibilities are responsibilities. You can't just say no to every responsibility you have, right? You're just living in your own little pathetic fantasy that, where you make the rules where, oh, I'm the big man, I'm the daddy now. <clears throat> Well, no, that's not how life, that's not how life works, all right? Life, the world doesn't circle around you, all right? The world doesn't revolve around you. You've got to take other people into consideration. I mean... I don't know if his career has ended or if he's still doing YouTube, but anyways, there's gotta be hope for everyone, right? I think that most of the time, but some people just don't have a heck in, in changing. They don't have a hope in heck in, change, in, in changing. They really don't. I mean, Face the facts. If you do things to hate, to make people hate you, then, then they're just gonna hate you. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. All right. If if everyone hates you, then then you probably did something to make them hate you. All right. I don't know if Jack has friends now, or it's, I never watched any of his videos, but I have, 
I have seen people react to his videos before, and trust me, you wouldn't want to have him as your son in your lifetime. I'm not trying to be mean, but... Jack, if you're watching this, grow the fuck up. Because you can't just go around harassing and, and antagonizing people for no reason. You can't go around harassing people, right? Don't antagonize people just because you fucked up. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm stating the obvious. Um, probably did it, and I take inspiration from Charlie. If you don't know, there's a YouTuber named Charlie who whose YouTube alias is Penguins Zero. Love, great channel, great guy. Never met him in person, but I've seen his videos, and he does seem like a good guy to be around. I can't make decisions for Jack. I can't make decisions for anyone but myself. All right? And neither can you. Neither can any of you guys. I mean... Face it, it's... Nobody controls anyone but themselves. Sure, we have laws and stuff we need to abide by. I am not going to argue there. That is a straight up fact. But it's us who... Yeah, I get scared easily. It's not something I want to discuss. Anyways, as I was saying... I feel that... That this whole be a douche shenanigan is going way out of hand. It has been before and it has now. I'm not going to make choices for anyone. I can't do that. But what I can do is try and help people. I mean, sure, there are laws you need to follow, but who follows? But who chooses to follow the laws? People themselves. No one chooses anything for them. Themselves. I... I don't get what's wrong with the fucking internet. Like... If this video becomes popular, thank God for me. But I'm not here to brag. I'm just here to say some of my thoughts. Thoughts are thoughts, okay? They're not always going to be correct. Opinions aren't always going to be correct, okay? There's no right and wrong in opinion. In an opinion. An opinion is basically like a decision. 
I mean, you choose to have it, so. Everyone has their own opinions. Like, whose fault is it if, if they fuck up? It's the person who fucked up. If it's an accident, then it's probably no one's fault. But it's quite complicated. Hmm, for someone like me. But it might not be for you. But I my almost um I'm pretty fast at learning things. So So, to you, if I really don't know how to do video editing to make my to do all that shit, but. Hopefully someday I will. Anyways, I, my voice is getting tired. I'm going to go now. Bye.